This is the first electric magnetic resonating loudspeaker. And this was built in 1921 in the United States. And uh, it was built by Chester W. Rice and Mr. Kellogg at GE. And it was patented a couple of years later. And uh, if we get a shot of the inside and maybe around the other side, we can see the actual speaker itself. Some very old tubes inside here. This is the electromagnetic part of it here. And um, it was a significant advancement because this was what followed the, the horn, the Magnavox horn. And one of the other significant uh, effects of this invention was the fact that they are able to broadcast to movie theaters, for example, and in, in uh, loud, uh, large audience environments, they were able to broadcast the uh, sound. First significant commercial usage of this invention was in theaters and that went from the speakeasy to the motion picture with sound. The other interesting part is that Edison's invention of the horn was in the late 1870s, I believe, and this invention in 21 that was patented in 24 or 25 was the first major advancement since the horn. So uh, that was a significant change. But the most interesting part is that the electromagnetic uh, vibrating resonating speaker system is what's still used in everything today. Um, and so if you buy a radio today, it's this concept that's still in it. This is an ammeter here, and this is an intensity switch over here that goes from off to full. And this is a paper cone that vibrates and amplifies the vibration of the noise itself. Mm -hmm.